is 845, but right now the sun has just gone behind a big cloud that's off a little bit to the west of us here. And as we see Perez slow on the racetrack, this could be a problem here. Could, could possibly bring out a yellow flag, which we're seeing him stop on the racetrack. Well, he's actually not on the racing surface. So he is on NASCAR, yeah, no the right, NASCAR right. oval, right? So let's see where he's at. The racetrack um, is actually over here to the left, right? Caution's so, out. Caution's out. Yeah. So it wasn't a safety concern, but they have to go get him. Uh, that's basically what would be NASCAR turn one. That's between, what is that, 12, 13, and 14 of the road course. So fire under the hood there, and we see it burning on the right front wheel. He said he was out of brake, so you wonder if there's some sort of a problem with that caliper. Maybe it melted a seal, something like that, and the brake fluid's burning. And now it's going to be a very stressful time because we already talked about the fuel window being 30 laps, 35 to go, maybe 34 to go when the pace car picks you up, a restart with 33 or 32 to go. It's going to be right on a fuel window. To your point, Jeff, you can see the fluid, right, running out of that. Well, you could. Yeah, it's just a hydraulic system, so if you lose fluid, uh, it, even even though it's two master cylinders, one to the front, one to the back, uh, when you push the brake pedal, whichever master cylinder is controlling the problem, which this is on the right front, you may as well have no brakes because you push the brake pedal down. It does not engage the good master cylinder. It just slides into the, the bad one, and you have no brakes anywhere, front or rear. And on the left side, you see the running order, Almendinger, Mayer, 